Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. Today we got a service call for a residential AC unit. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. So we got a service call that we do not have any cooling. So let's see what's going on here. All right, so the homeowner isn't home, so I can't actually call for cooling. Came back at a time where it's convenient for me. So what I'm gonna have to do is actually push in this contact by hand, let's see what's going on. All right, so all we got is a buzzing sound. This contact there actually feeds both the fan and the compressor. This is a dual capacitor. We only got a humming sound. Nothing happened with our pressure gauges. So let's take a further look to see what's going on here. So when we get humming like that, and this is a single phase system, what's going on is that this thing is having trouble to start. And this capacitor is this, the biggest suspect right now. It looks completely rusted. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut down the power and discharge the capacitor and check it to see what kind of ratings we have and we'll continue. Uh, we're gonna turn that off. And from here, I, I like to just short it out just in case there's some sort of power still in here, some voltage, so we're just gonna go across it. And now we're safe to check this capacitor. What we wanna do is look at the ratings. This is a dual capacitor for both the fan and the compressor. And we see it says 40 plus five UF. So to me, it's telling me you need 40 microfarads to start this compressor and five microfarads to start the fan. So we're gonna pull the wires out. We're gonna either take a picture or write it down so we can put everything back correctly. And we're gonna test to see what ratings we have. Everything is color coded. So we could just take a picture and begin by taking apart our leads. So you don't know so you don't hurt your fingers. And let's disconnect this. So I pulled out the cap, 40 plus five microfarads. So typically what we see here is we're gonna see one terminal labeled as common, another one labeled as fan, and another one labeled as herm. And the way we check this is between common and herm, we should be reading 40 microfarads, and between common and fan, we should be reading five microfarads. This thing is so rusted, I actually can't even see which is harm fan or whatever so let's just test this out all right so just set my meter to microfarads i believe the, this port is common so let's check between these two you want to give it a few seconds there's completely nothing there now let's check between the next two This thing is completely out of charge. There's nothing here at all. Let's check between any of these terminals, really. Oh yeah, this thing is completely fried up. It's definitely this capacitor. So we need one of these to get this started. All right, everyone, it's another day in paradise. I do not have that type of capacitor in my truck in stock. So we're off to the supply house to pick one up and install it. All right, everyone, I got a new dual capacitor, 40 microfarads slash five at 370 volts, which is the same setup that we have. And we're on our way back to the job site. All right, so we're back on the job site. And before I install this, we're gonna check this for the correct microfarads. So if we look closely, we have one terminal rated as common, one as fan and one as herm. This is the Subco MFD10 capacitor tester. I just want to try to check this out just for video. So I'm going to put one lead on common and one lead on Herm. 
and that should be our higher reading. So we should have 40 microfarads. Just gonna press down the button. Right there we have 40, 41 microfarads. So this checks out good. Next we're gonna put one lead on common and the next one on fan. And this should be reading five microfarads. Press on the button, we have 5.1 microfarads. And this capacitor is good. So let's go ahead and install this. So I'm just following my diagram. I found my dual capacitor. And if you look, we see our common wire. Yellow goes to common. So I got my common hooked up right here. One coming from line side of our contactor. The other common is one that's going to our fan motor. And then we have the second next terminal. Let's see for outdoor fan motor. We have a blue wire. So that's this one. So this blue wire Let's just make sure, yes. Okay, that's our fan, so we're gonna put that on fan. And the next one is, we have a red. And if we trace that out, that one does go to our compressor. So, the red is gonna go to Herm. That's for our compressor. And the next one is gonna go to our fan. If you're unsure, always check the diagram. And if you're not sure, even then, follow the wires. Our bracket, and it's honestly too short. So we gotta figure out a way how we can support this. And don't be the guy who leaves it in the box. <laughs> so I got a roll of band iron. We're just gonna cut this to size so we can strap this on to the unit. That looks great. That right there is a beautiful thing and you can read everything. Looks like somebody's been in here stashing acorns. This is not a safe place, so I'm just gonna leave these on the side. For the little guy, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit and let's test this out. Honestly, this contact there is so pitted. We're gonna replace it as well for good faith. And I got the power off. And let's begin replacing this. I'm gonna start by mounting my new contact there. All right, looks great from here. We're just gonna go wire for wire. That is quite a difference. It looks really good. Everything is nice and clean. All the connections are new. All right, everyone, it's the moment of truth. Just gonna push in the contact there. All right. Fan motor's running. Low side pressure's coming down. High side pressure's slowly coming up. That's a beautiful thing right there. Pretty much from here, we're just gonna start the system, make sure our refrigerant charge is okay and we're getting good temperatures. But that was the issue as to why our compressor and fan motor were humming and this was not starting we saw how we checked the capacitor and pretty much that's pretty much it really if anybody found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe i'll catch you all next time